Hey everyone, welcome to another Shop My Stash update. I'm gonna be reflecting on my last Shop My Stash rotation and I'm also gonna show you what I'm gonna be using in the coming month. So let's get right into it. So for this Shop My Stash, I changed up the rules a little bit before I picked out quite a few products and really it was a challenge to use them all. Now at this point, I am like, I want to make this a little bit more fun for myself and also really pick products I haven't used in a while so that this is also very useful to get to know my collection a little bit better. So I've decided that I'm only gonna pick two things from every category that I find I have a lot from so that it actually makes sense also for me to pick things from that category. So I actually picked a few less things but I had a lot of fun with this Shop My Sesh rotation. I actually discovered some things about these products and I just had more fun using this. It didn't really feel as much like a chore which is very very nice so i'm gonna be keeping this up i'm gonna stick to these rules so less products but products that i feel like i really have to make up my mind about more that i haven't used in a bit so that I actually have something to say about it as well after I've tried it. So first up, I picked out two bronzers, of course. And the first bronzer that I picked out is the NARS Cream Bronzer in Laguna. And I've actually used this a lot this month. Before this month, before this Shop My Stash, I actually didn't go into this one a lot. I just used it once in a few weeks maybe because it looks a bit scary in the pan. Now that I've used it more, I have a better idea of how I feel about this. It's a product that you have to be a bit careful with because it's pretty dark, but it does blend out very easily. And I did really like using it. I just have to be a little bit mindful, especially this time of year when I'm losing my tan a little bit. It's a bit of a deeper shade, but I have really been going into this. I really liked wearing this one. It's a very nice cream bronzer. Then the other bronzer that I picked out was the Kiko Fruit Explosion Maxi Bronzer in Wild Sienna. So... This is an interesting bronzer. It has a little bit of an olivey undertone. I quite liked using it. This bronzer is not my absolute favorite, but it's a pretty good one. I feel like it's a bit lightly pigmented, so sometimes I have to kind of load up my brush to really get the result that I want, but I quite liked using it this month. I have been going into this a few times, but I have used the NARS Cream Bronzer a little bit more. This has a pretty nice glow. I quite like the effect it has on the skin. I just just have to remind myself to really go into it with a brush to get the result that I want. Then I also grabbed a few cheek products. So first up I put in the Catrice Fading Into Dawn Limited Edition Blush. This is like a gradient blush from a cool pink to a more of a berry shade. I've used it a couple of times. I've used it today. I quite like pairing this with a purple eyeshadow with a more purpley look or maybe a more cool toned lip. I actually really enjoyed this blush. Blush. It's just a nice, slightly glowy blush. It's just that I haven't really been into berry blush for the last maybe six months. It's something that I like to wear in the winter. And maybe it was a little bit early, but I have been getting into it a little bit more. It's not like this makes my cheeks look very pink or purple. It looks pretty natural. And that is something that I kind of forgot about. And I feel like maybe this time of year, I'll be getting a little bit more in more cool toned blushes, a little bit cool toned pink or berry blushes. Then I also put in this Bloom Baby Bloom Blush Lighter by Essence. This is a product that has been on the chopping block for quite a while. And I put this in because I just wasn't sure if I could make this work. I talked about this in my blush declutter but I thought maybe I can make this work as kind of like a blush topper. Maybe it can just apply a little bit but it's just such a hassle. I just have to think about this too much. If I apply too much of this it's just gonna look blotchy. I used this once and I was like you know what it's not worth it. It's just so gray purple and it just doesn't really work on my skin. I am quite neutral to cool tone but really purpley like really cool toned purpley makeup on the eyes, cheeks, lips can 
look a little bit off on me. I think more pinky leaning makeup looks better on me and the fact that this is so gray purple it just doesn't work it's just very uneven looking I have to be very careful so I've actually decided I'm gonna be decluttering this one it's just not worth it it just looks so cute I think the packaging looks so cute with the flowers and then this looks like a very beautiful shade but it's just not very practical. Then next up, the highlighter that I'm wearing today. This is the NYX Lavender Steel Highlighter. This is like a duochrome highlighter. It looks kind of gray in the pan, but it's actually quite a nice warm lilac shade, which I feel I can make work. I can make it look kind of natural. Of course, it's still a lilac shade, but it isn't as gray and as weird as the other blush lighter that I just showed you. I feel like it kind of works. It looks very scary in the pan, but on the face, I just like having this one. I just think it's a little bit different, something a little bit interesting, kind of like this warm, lilac y, glowy blush topper almost. Then last I put in this H&M highlighter in Radiant Rose. I use this as a blush topper. This is kind of similar in effect on the cheeks to that next one. It's also like this warm toned lilac. I used this as a blush topper yesterday I believe. Really like it. Really love the effect of this one. It's it's a bit on the cool toned side, but I feel like because it kind of has that pinky undertone, it does work on my skin. Then I put in two lipsticks. Oh, first up, I put in this Juvia's Place lipstick in Muted. I really like this. It feels very comfortable on the lips, stays on long. It's a beautiful kind of cool toned lighter brown shade. I think this is a great lipstick for this time of year. Really enjoyed wearing it. Then this lipstick, the Caviar Gouge Fleur de Soir lipstick by Catrice. This is kind of like a dark red with a cool toned, almost brown leaning undertone. I used this once and I found out that it's actually a bit hard to apply this lipstick without a lip liner. But at this moment, believe it or not, I don't have a dark red lip liner. I decluttered so many of them. I actually filmed that declutter, but the files were like completely corrupted. I couldn't reach them, so I couldn't upload it. But I only have like three lip liners left and they are all light nude shades so this was a little bit hard to apply but once it was on i really liked how it looked it looked very pretty it has a slight sheen to it for sure it isn't completely matte but it's a beautiful shade so i think i could use this more if i had the right lip liner i did order a lip liner so i'm gonna see if i can combine those if that would work with this one but at least i really like the shade of this one i just need to make it a bit easier for me to use it then i picked out two eyeshadow palettes first up the flutter by eyeshadow palette by colourpop i did quite a smoky look with these shades but also with this one this one this one i combined a few of the shades and made kind of like a mauvey purpley look i i made it quite smoky it didn't look as smoky on the photo but it was quite a smoky look and but i really enjoyed this palette i really enjoyed using it i already knew that it was great quality but i was very impressed you can get your look to look quite dark and smoky it even looked a little bit similar to a look i could possibly do with the mel cheese and parties i think this would be quite a good dupe actually when i tried the mel cheese and parties i thought this wasn't similar enough but when i did the look i was like hmm, pretty similar for the price difference and the quality difference I think I would go with this one. And the look that I did with it definitely made me feel like using this one more. The shimmers in here are just very shiny, very creamy. I was very impressed. Then the last eyeshadow palette that I put in was the Frozen 2 palette. The Anna one. This is also by Colourpop. This one I also did a bit of a mauve purpley look with. But this one was a little bit softer, a little bit more neutral. I did pick very similar eyeshadow palettes and I did do pretty similar looks with them this time around but i do really love these types of shades this time of year it's just what i'm into so i mainly use this autumn breeze and this adventure shade 
really love the look that it did with this. I really like the quality of this one and I'm gonna try to use it again, especially because this is a palette that's really fitting for this time of year. So that's gonna be everything for the rotation of last month. Let's pick out my new basket. All right, so let's pick out some makeup. Usually I have a pretty good idea of what I wanna do, but right now I'm a bit unsure what I actually want to put in my shop my stash basket i think i'm gonna go with this semi shine lipstick by essence this is a pretty warm tone shade a very shiny creamy lipstick i haven't really used it since i got it so i think it's time that i really make up my mind about it and then I'm gonna go with this Sephora Cream Lip Stain in 40. This is quite a cool tone nude. It has a little bit of a gray undertone almost. So I want to use it again to see if I think it's too gray or if I think I'm still gonna be reaching for this one and if I think it's still a good color for me. Okay, let's move on to the highlighters. I'm not entirely sure what I wanna do. This one is more of a blush. Let's put that over here. I think I'm gonna put this one in. This is a very nice, a really light rose gold highlighter by Catrice. I haven't used it in a bit because this is more of a highlighter that I would use in the winter. So I think it's time to get this one out again and use use it a bit more then i think i'm also gonna put this little nyx eyeshadow in i use this as a highlight this is the prismatic eyeshadow in girl talk and this is a very pretty shade i've hit pen on it it was one of my faves but i haven't used it in a bit so i want to use this one again and see if the love for this one is still there then for the blushes i want to put in the glowgasm beauty light one by charlotte tilbury in pink gasm i really wanted this for such a long time but i feel like i haven't been using it enough for how much i wanted it so i'm gonna put this in and then i'm gonna go with this kiko charming escape silky blush i really like this one but i haven't really reached for it in a bit this is the one in i will just quickly show you so this is a very warm toned coral and this is the one in tasty Beach. so i want to use this one again so let's see what i want to do for the eyeshadows i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna challenge myself a little bit i'm gonna go with the ColourPop and raw beauty christie at four side haven't used this in a bit as is the case with everything that i'm picking for my shop my stash so maybe i should stop saying that but i think this is a very interesting palette but just a bit hard for me to use because it doesn't have that many shimmers so i'm gonna put this one in i'm kind of thinking maybe i should put in the Juvia's Place the Blushed Rose because I kind of want to do a look focusing on this kind of toned down burgundy shade but I could also put in the Juvia's Place Wahala 2 that's also been a while or maybe one of the Smashbox palettes that could also be something to put in but these are a little bit more on the soft side i also want to pick something that could be a little bit more bright and impactful i think i'm gonna go with this one and try and challenge myself to use a palette that i loved in spring summer in the fall and i don't always pick single eyeshadows but yesterday at night i was just playing around with my single eyeshadows and i created this and i thought you know what that would be kind of interesting to put in my shop my stash so i'm gonna put in this mix of cleonad nyx lethal cosmetics and glamonatrix so i'm gonna put this one as well it might get a little bit overwhelming i actually don't want to put in too many eyeshadow products but i'm just gonna put this in because it's not exactly the same i'm not always gonna put in single eyeshadows i just thought Let's put this in and try this out. Then of course I also have to pick something from the bronzers. And I think I'm going to go with the Smashbox Calicanto palette. And I'm just going to pick this. I think I'm just going to be focusing on this one. Or maybe, maybe I could also put in this one. The Milk Makeup Baked Bronzing Stick. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one as well. Because it's also a different kind of product. I can maybe use this underneath the Smashbox palette. And then this is my makeup basket. This is going to be what I'm especially going to be focusing on for the coming month. And that's going to be everything for my Shop My Stash update. 
thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe i upload these types of videos every month i also do things like project pen i also review a lot of indie makeup i do will abide videos if that sounds good to you please subscribe i would love to see you again on my channel and then i will see you in my next video bye bye Ooh.